up. Um, today's chapel speaker is my dad. You may have heard of him or not. Um, a few things about him is he grew up in Syracuse, New York. Um, another thing about him is he started playing piano at the age of five. Some of the colleges he attended was Eastman School of Music and Juilliard. He currently works at EMU as a music professor and he's a board member of EMS right now. So please welcome my dad. That's my boy right there. Give it up, give it up. <laughs> All right. Well, always a pleasure to be here. Um, if you've ever been to a chapel I led before, you know, normally I like to try to get it hyped up in here. Um, but today, it's going to be no different. Flames Nation, make some noise. <laughs> Let's get it live in here. Here we go. Pump it up, y'all. Let's get it live. 
All right. So there's something about when everyone is together and feels the same thing, and there's an energy in the room. There's something special that happens. You can feel it. Somebody, you don't have to ask, hey, what, anybody know was there energy in the room? You just feel it in your chest, in your bones, right? You feel it at a sports game, maybe on a basketball team, you make the winning shot, crowd goes crazy to win the game, winning goal, home run, winning ace, everyone, part of the community goes crazy, you feel it, something special just happened. Maybe you finish a play or a musical and you killed it, whole crowd gives a standing ovation and there's just a feeling in the room, an energy, something special, something impactful happened. So hopefully you felt a little bit of that right now. That was the goal. But there's a story of one of the times when this happened. A group of people got together, community, a team, friends, and what they did that day, the energy that came out of it, was so special, so impactful, that we actually made a name for that day. Pentecost. In the Bible, the disciples, Jesus' 12 disciples, if you read it in uh, Acts 2, they were all together. And that's the first thing you read. They were together. Key. They were all together, and then the energy of the Holy Spirit came in. Boom! And all of them start talking in foreign languages they had never studied before. So in your case, make sure you take Spanish 1, Spanish 2, do everything you need to learn so that you can speak in foreign languages too. In this case... They just did it without having studied them at all. And there were all these people there from all different places, people from Asia, people from Egypt, Libya, Mesopotamia, Rome, and they all heard the disciples talking in their own language about God's greatness. Some of the people thought they were crazy. Some of them got it. But everyone in the room realized, oh man, there's something special that happened when these guys came together. And... That day, 3,000 people ended up getting baptized and joining with these 12 guys that day. So man, there's something about when people come together, a community comes together and can feel the same thing and get that energy, special things, impactful things can happen. But it didn't happen on day one, right? They weren't perfect, they weren't a perfect team, they weren't a perfect community from day one or day two or day three. They had to learn a few things first. If you remember the story of Jesus taking the disciples out on the boat, he actually sent them out, stayed back to pray. And so they were already out there on the water. He was like, well, I guess I'll just walk to get out there and walked on the water. And so when he was coming up, they were looking from the boat like, oh, there's someone out there walking on the water. And you know what they said? They said, oh yeah, Jesus. We trust in him, he's so great. That's our guy. Just kidding, they were like, it's a ghost, bro. <laughs> James, get the sails ready. We gotta get up out of here, there's a ghost coming. And so that's what everyone thought, they got scared. Larry, look it up, check the receipts, it's in the Bible, check the receipts. Um, what happened though, Peter, one of them, said, Jesus, let me come to you. And so he actually got to walk on water, literally walk on top of the H2O, right? Walk on water to meet Jesus. So you think about it, Jesus taught them many, many things. And the most important reason they were ready for that day when sort of the spirit came down and they were all talking in different languages was because of Jesus. Let's make that clear, first of all. But the way he set it up, he set it up so they could also learn from each other too. So think about it. Peter just stepped out and walked on the water and you're sitting back in the boat. What were the rest of them thinking? You think maybe the next time Jesus was doing something, instead of sitting back in the boat, you thought maybe I'm going to step up and try this time too because maybe something special and impactful will happen and I can be a part of it. So they learned from each other, right? Learning from each other, learning from the community, learning from the people around you. Super important. You know, I have some friends um, when I was in school who I learned a lot of things from too. 
they were good friends my age and everything, kind of around my age, just like you have your classmates. And so when we were in school, you know, we would hang out and kind of be together all the time and all that stuff. One of them was a cellist. And she was actually um, a really great cellist. We ended up playing a lot together. She, um, we had a kind of little group and went and played in other states and stuff like that. She's about this tall, so um, little person. But one thing about her was she is never afraid to just be herself, right? So it didn't matter how prestigious the situation was, who was in the room, how, uh, how big of a deal the concert was, how many people were there. She was always just herself, did things her way, her style, her flow. And I was like, I think I can learn something from that about sort of being yourself and being comfortable being who you are. I had another friend. He is a jazz pianist. And so um, we would get together sometimes and find practice rooms with two pianos side by side and just spend hours just making up stuff and jamming and kind of being like, what chord was that you just hit right there? Teach me that chord. Or how do you play fast? Like, what did you learn in your lessons? How did you learn to play? And so we would just get together and jam and like learn things. And so I, he was the same way, kind of a guy who's just like, I'm going to be myself no matter the situation. It's like, I think I can learn from that too. So I want to put up a picture of my friends here. That's us. Um, you see the, like I said, she's a little shorter. When I'm inside, it's the cellist, Patrice. The one in the middle is uh, my friend John. Some of you might know him as John Baptiste. He won album of the year this year. Um, not Beyonce, not Billie Eilish, John, album of the year. Um, and this is a picture from when we were in a rehearsal earlier this year for a concert we were going to play where it was going to be the first uh, orchestra made up of African Americans to ever play in Carnegie Hall, in the history of Carnegie Hall. So can I tell you, it was special. It was impactful to be a, able to be a part of that moment um, and with them and with the things I learned from them and catch up. True story, at the end of the concert, John had played a piece he wrote for the orchestra. Everybody was going crazy, sold out Carnegie Hall, New York. Um, he's walking off the stage. As he goes off the stage, he daps me up right there in the middle of Carnegie Hall in the middle of the concert. We didn't do that much, but we got the, you know, that. Because we knew the moment was special. There was something about that community energy. So EMS, my question for you, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, seniors, this year, how can you learn from each other? Learn from those in your community. And how can you do something special and impactful? Where are we, two or three weeks into the beginning of school here? So you have a whole long way uh, ahead of you this year and all sorts of things are gonna come up and opportunities. How can you do something special? How can you be the best group of friends, class, team in the history of this school? That's not too big. You know what Jesus told the disciples? One day you're gonna do greater things than these, these things I'm doing, right? So how are you gonna do it? I'm gonna be watching, I look forward to it, all right? So before I leave you today, I wanna to give you one more song. Is that all right? Okay. So um, we were talking a lot today about kind of like teams coming together and doing something special and impactful. So I was thinking about what teams can I think of, what communities, what group of friends have come together and it was special, impactful. And there was a theme song to go with it that as soon as you heard it, you knew it, what it was about. So I came up with a few things, and we're an intergenerational community. There's something for everybody. Um, can I have the next slide? Oh, I'm supposed to use that. Probably never heard of that group before, but can we agree when they came together, it was special? All right, so there's gonna be a little bit of that in here. Um, next slide. You know these guys? Wildcats, right? So it was special. 
right? Okay, like I said, we're an intergenerational community. I can't just do it for you students. This has to be about everybody. Give your teacher some love. Give the faculty, give the, give the administrators, your principals, head of school some love. So um, for some of you teachers who you're too old to be millennials, but you're definitely not a boomer, 80s, 90s babies like me, this is for you. Y'all remember? I know you still watch the re reruns on Hulu. Don't, don't lie. Um, so a little bit of that's going to be in there. Now for our experienced teachers, our wise ones, who um, you stu still do multiplication the old way, the old school way, right? But students, learn, learn the boxes. Don't get me in trouble with your math teacher. Learn the boxes. Um, but for you all, this one's for you. <laughs> You remember that? Th thank you for being a friend. All right. So here we go.
do something special. All right, thank you guys. You're dismissed.